morning everyone welcome to imagination online experience today in lesson number seven we are going to study an artist from Turkey she's a little bit less known than other artists I spoke before but I saw her exhibition at Tate Modern one day and I was absolutely amazed by her large-scale paintings Barel Nisa Said was born in 1901 in Turkey and she was the first female who studied art in Turkey. That was one of her great achievements. She is known for her colorful and large abstract art. Do you know what it means? Abstract? Hmm. I wonder what you think. Abstract art is art that doesn't try to describe any visual reality so it's not about a landscape it's not a portrait it's not a still life it is just a, a canvas full of shapes and colors and forms and marks that made to achieve a certain effect. Abstract art is a pure form of expression that allows the artist to communicate his feelings and his ideas through forms, shapes, colors, without anything that will remind us something we know. Don't you think it's a great form of art where you can be free in how you show, how you feel? Farelnisa Said lived in many different countries and her life was really interesting. She was born in Turkey and then she moved to Paris where she rented a studio and was an active artist. She lived in London where she moved because her husband was an ambassador of Iraq in the UK. She lived in an embassy where she turned one of the rooms, one of the former maids rooms, into her studio. Can you imagine? She had an art studio in an Iraqi embassy. <laughs> Her husband, Said Al Hussein, was a prince and after she married him, she became a part of Iraqi Hashemite royal family. They spent some time in Berlin, where husband was an ambassador too. 
Later in her life, she moved to Jordan, to Amman, where she stayed until she died in 1991. She set up an art school there for women to teach them how to paint. The school was informal, but many women who Paralisa Said helped out. Really changing their lives. Remember her for what she's done. In this lesson, we are going to do a couple of activities. First one is inspired by an amazing piece called Abstract Parrot, painted in 1954. When you look really closely, you can see a parrot. I would like to invite you to create your own abstract parrot. You can do that by using a printout of an image of this bird. You can also draw the parrot yourself in the middle of the page. And then we will draw lots of colorful shapes around the parrot to make it disappear into the background. Great, let's start. This work is entitled the parrot. What we're gonna do now is use this image of a parrot. You can also simply draw a parrot or print one. And we're gonna draw lots of shapes around it. If you need some help, you can put this sheet underneath and then you very lightly can see the shapes that I drew before. Or you can just simply draw lots of abstract shapes around the parrot. Let's start. I'm gonna do it with a black sharpie and start with the outline. Thank you. 
Done with the sharpie and now it's time to start adding all the lovely colors of my parrot. I'm just gonna use the shades that I can see on her body. I recommend you taking one color and then drawing, coloring in lots of shapes in that particular color. Let's do 10. 
One, two, three, four, five.
and let's do light green. That's a lot of green, now let's do blue.
Wow, that's a lot of blue. Now we put the dark blue. It will be great here at the bottom. just a few more spaces left and I need to see which color I really need. Put the dark green to go into some parts. I'm also going to use more orange and more red. Hello. 
Scala. Yellow. And that's my parrot. Finished. Have you ever seen one of these? Well, they're wonderful for creating kaleidoscopic images. When you put it very close to your eye, all the colors that surround you begin to break into little shapes. So that's what we're going to do today. Here are some kaleidoscopic work by Farhan Lisa Said. Look at all the colors. Some of them are very colorful with black out. Others have a limited color scheme. What colors are you going to choose? So let's prepare your oil pastels and your sketchbook or white piece of paper. Okay, my place is ready and this is one of the scribble art I did in the past. I chose many bright colors. So what are we gonna do guys? We will need a black oil pastel to create your swirly sprinkle and then all the spaces created in between you will fill in with your chosen set of colors. Let's start now. I'm happy with my scribble. I'm gonna go over it to make the lines very visible.
Great, now it's time for the color. I'm gonna choose different shades of blue and green in my picture. a piece of paper to wipe off your oil pastels when they become dirty when you blend in with with black start from the middle so it doesn't touch the black and then go towards the edges colors and then wipe it off again. So remember to start with the middle not touching the black. blend in Is it going, everyone? Make sure you press really hard to cover all the white bits of your paper. Thank you. 
blending in with the black outline. Just covering all the white bits. Great. Now I need some other blue. Oh, that's a lovely shade of That's it. My artwork is finished. Make sure you wash your hands because oil pastels can make them very dirty. Last thing is to sign my work with oil pastel. And date. Done. This is a scribble art 
in oil pastel, inspired by Father and Lisa Zay. The art of today's artist is often described as kaleidoscopic. Right! Has any one of you have a kaleidoscope at home? So it's a tube that when you look through it, you can see wonderful patterns changing because of the beads that are located at the back. It's a fantastic toy and when you look at the kaleidoscope of shapes it's a little bit like looking at the kaleidoscope of shapes in Farrell Nisa Zaid's pictures. Well done everyone for creating your abstract pieces. I would like to share with you one more fact about Farah Lisa Said. She wasn't just an abstract painter. She also painted people. She was a portrait painter too, mostly her friends and family. She also painted a larger than life picture of Donald Trump. <laughs> this painting created in 1980 is entitled Someone from the Past and it is actually her self-portrait. She said about this picture I am a descendant of four civilizations. In my self-portrait the hand is Persian, the dress is Byzantine, the face is Cretan, and the eyes Oriental. But I was not aware of it as I was painting it. <laughs> when I look at the pictures, someone from the past, and the dress Varanisa is wearing, it brings to my memory, a lovely painting by another artist called Gustav Klimt. His portrait of Adele Bloch Bauer is quite similar. Can you see Adele's beautiful golden dress? all covered in different shapes, patterns, swirls, triangles and jewellery-like decoration. I will definitely talk about Gustav Glint for the whole lesson. 
because I really like his art and I hope you will like it too. For today, I designed a small activity for you that you can do in your free time. In this activity sheet, you can design Farnisa Zaid dress the way you wish. You can also design the background however you feel is best. In the original picture, the background is really dark. It's actually black. You can choose if you prefer the background of your picture to be dark, deep, just like in old masters paintings or maybe you would like to do something more colorful cheerful and covered in patterns like vincent van gogh often did okay everyone i will leave you this decision to you and i'm looking forward to seeing your abstract art and dress designs on our next Zoom meeting. Thank you so much for taking part in today's lesson number seven about the Turkish artist Princess Farah Nisa Said.